laws power system. Are you getting what I'm saying? Laws power system. As long as life remains, seed time, harvest. God is not, you don't, you, you don't hear anybody shouting every day, oh, 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 let there be, let there be harvest, let no. It's a system put in place. It's running. I'll tell you what a system is. A system is that every lady will, ex, will, will receive their August visitor. It, it will come. You, there's nothing. A monthly, it will happen. If it does not happen, we'll drag you to the hospital. Something is wrong with you. It will happen. Every woman, you don't need to pray about it. You don't need to, you don't need to fast about it. You just get ready for it. You just get ready for it. Because that time it will happen. Even if you are sleeping, it will happen. You better get ready because it will happen. You may be leading praise and worship, it will happen. Once it's time, you can be under the anointing. Well, it will happen. Nothing will stop it. It's a system that has been put in place in your body. It will keep happening day in, day out until a certain age in your life. And that system, that system says, once that thing is happening, if there is any conception, it stops. You can't be pregnant and be menstruating. We will rush you quickly to the hospital. Who they shout the yes for them? <laughs> we will know something is wrong. That is system. 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 Once they are put in place, they keep running. Nothing stops them. And what power system is law? So if that's if faith is the law of creation, if you believe anything, it doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative, it will come. So it doesn't matter what is going on in your mind right now. Just know it. Whatever is going on in your mind now, you are making some orders. <laughs> if you like, be thinking snake, snake, snake. You are making orders. Order. You are ordering the universe. The universe has been placed in such a way is a system that whatsoever that's why Paul talked about casting down imagination because once he gets in there it, it, will, it will come. There will be delivery. It will be delivered to your door. So what's your responsibility is to learn how to constantly walk this law by how Channeling it to the right direction. What you don't want, don't spend time thinking about it. How do I? I don't know how to. The moment you like a lady and you begin to desire, there will be little that will stop you from. If you believe it strong enough, are you not getting what I'm saying? How did you marry this giant of a lady? You need to understand this and begin to consciously now put it in play. You will see what will begin to happen in your life. It's you that was sharing with me the other day. Every time you see it in your mind, he goes after it. He doesn't need to have the money. He goes after it. Uh, I don't know how to put this. Check anybody that make guys. The day you say you want to marry and you move, money will start coming out. Okay, God bless you. Because me, the day I was going to do traditional marriage, on my way to that place, now the meet money come. Ask her. Even while I was there, money was coming. Not before. Hey, I want to marry. It's okay, okay. Tell people I want to marry. Okay, okay. Put a date you want to marry. You see resources. Put a date. Not just go put any date to make sure say you understand. The principle, why they told me say you can't put because a pastor. Now you say me will put date. Eh? I don't put this day. <laughs> understand the way it works. That's what I'm trying to say. Understand the way it works. First, there has to be a desire. The desire red hot. The, the Bible say and God. I say, I say, he say, he say what in the beginning, 
God made heaven and earth where in his mind and the earth was full of darkness everywhere was chaotic and the spirit of God was moving over the water that God was brooding on this thing God was thinking about this thing God was desiring about this thing when he was so 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 sure his mind was fixed on his head let that beep so don't just say wake up just wake up from money ah, I will marry today no it will not work you will set 200 dates you will not shush, you will not get. They focus on it. Meditate on it. Desire it. And then make a move. You will see everything will begin to work to deliver it to you. I'm telling you. Everything will begin to work to deliver it to you. Isaac told Esau that, that, that secret. He said, when you get tired, I've blessed Jacob. I've given him everything, including master over you. He will rule over you. But when you get tired, whew, they can't stop you. You'll be free from me. So from today, don't waste your energy thinking about how they are going to kidnap you because you'll be kidnapped. You stay on it long enough, you'll be kidnapped. And since you understand this principle now, don't waste your energy thinking on the small things. One guy says, Let me talk about the big things, Wabi. Channel that energy on some big stuff. Say I'm global. And you are thinking it. You are working everything to go about it. I'm global. Oh, only God knows how many times I think about this ministry and its globalness. And only God knows how many times. In a day. I think about it always. Always. And when I'm doing that, I know I'm making my order. They are packaging it. They are packaging it. Are you getting blessed? These things you have here, have you thought about it long enough? Then it will show up. You don't have to stress it Wherever the law is applied, it will activate. <laughs> you don't have to stress it. Wherever the law is applied, it will activate it. What law? The law of faith. What does it say? If you believe it long enough. If you believe it strong enough. What does that tell you? If you believe it, that kidney situation can kill you. If you believe it long enough, say, I'm not dying. That kidney... It will adjust itself. <laughs> See, that's how the miracle works. That's why Jesus always asks, do you believe? If you are thinking already, you're already in the gasket. You are dead. Listen, there are people who have lived with kidney challenge for many years. They are still moving because they believe it strong enough. This thing can kill me. What do you think Mekumopai drank that acid and he was not hot? He believed this so, so much that acid can hurt me because the scripture said so. And when they gave him the acid, he said, I take this as my morning tea. And he drank it. Some of these things are not stories. Natalie Bassi put it on his, on his Instagram handle the other day that he just met face to face a living testimony of a lady that was raised up by the host. I said, I just met her now. The lady fell when he was small. Fell from a two-story building. Bam. Brain, everything. You have read about it. And they called the mother said, she's not dead. 
I am not burying this one because women have lost some children before now. So I can't bury this one. And you see what I'm saying? Believe it strong enough. Then they said for Idahosa. Idahosa came, saw the baby and said, this is a dead, no, it's a dead case. Dead. He was about to go. He said, God told him, go back there. That's why I brought you here. I want to do me some miracle. And he went back and the baby came back to life. Still alive today. Living proof. Living evidence. I heard about that woman that the husband died. Was it in word of life? In word of life, she locked. She, 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 she said they should keep the oxygen on. I think it was during the COVID period. Keep that oxygen on. We'll keep paying for the oxygen. Don't remove it. They say, Madam is dead. We have to let it go. Not letting him go. Put him there. He will smell. Put air freshener there. I think it was seven or ten days after. The, the, the man sneezed back to life. Come on. Do you believe this thing's long? Do you believe it's strong enough that it's going to come to pass? Don't be the shaker like Lisa. Do you believe it? It's the same God. Oh, nobody. You tell them. Nobody ever got to any level in life without believing it. Nobody steps into a level by accident. No. Nobody steps into another level by accident. Before you got there, you believed it. Are they lie? Before you got there, think you can stumble into some le- It will never work. You must, you must have believed it. I will soon ride the car. You must have believed it. If you didn't believe it, you won't even make an effort to buy it. I want to get married. You must have believed it to start making... Oh, are you getting what I'm saying? Who believes all of these are coming to pass this year? Who believes it? <laughs> it's a law. Once you do that, it will show up. So we need to learn how to apply this law positively. That's where you need a job. To channel it. Put it on something. Believe it until that thing comes to pass. You will not take a no for an answer. Let's read James 1, 2 to 4. James 1, 2 to 4. James 1, 2 to 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Continue. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Continue. Is it finished? But let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and, in, and entire wanting nothing. Let me read it for you here. How do I develop a mountain moving faith? That's what I'm about to show you. Dear brothers, New Living Translation and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Ah, look at that. When trials, when troubles, when challenges of all kinds comes to you, start celebrating. Hey, I'm about to hammer. So that's what the Bible is saying. Let the weak say what? Let the strong say what? (laughs) You see? There was no provision for the strong to say anything. It is only the weak that will experience the strength of the Lord. So if you find yourself in a weak situation, that makes you a candidate of strength. You see, it's all about mindset. I'm getting to that. It's a, it's, it's, this thing is about mindset. This faith thing is about mindset. You've got to be in the right mindset. That's what the Bible says. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So someone experiences a challenge and feels that God is about to kill him. But another person experiences a challenge and is excited because you know, testimony is about to, testimony is about to happen. It's called testimony because there's going to be a test. He said, get excited. Seize an opportunity. For instance, let the poor say what? So, you find yourself broke in any situation. You get excited because money is about to show up in your door. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Money is about to show up. You need to start having the right mindset. 
You need to start right now having the right mindset. I'm about to get me a financial testimony. Praise God. The Bible says, and Abraham was excited, giving God glory, not considering his dead body. There's some people who just sit back and be thinking, oh, my dead body, oh, my dead body. No, Abraham was excited. I'm about to see some aspect of God that hasn't been seen. When you're low on cash, oh, money's about to come. Somebody's about to, money's about to leave some account and hit me. You get excited. That's the way to think. Faith. Oh, pastor said we're expecting some amount of money. You get excited because if we're going to get that money, somebody's going to get blessed. So you position yourself. Ah, so if you're talking about 100 million, that means, ah, because God will never ask you for what he's not given. I mean, you need to not, hey, whoa. Well, you bail. That's how many people miss it. They bail. They bail. That's the thing. Listen. Even if you don't have and they're talking about, let me tell you something about money. Even if you don't have and they're talking about it, don't ever allow yourself to bail. Stay there. Get used to it. That shouldn't be when you want to go and pee. Or when you want to answer an imaginary, imaginary call. Or when you want to go and buy pure water. Or when you want to go and poo poo. Because, listen, if you keep taking yourself away from that environment, you keep, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, you will keep giving yourself away. It will never happen to you. It will never happen to you. It will never happen to you. Get used to that environment. You don't have, don't feel intimidated about it. Say, praise God. The fact that I'm in a place they are talking about this kind of money, I mean, because listen, until you get used to it, it will never come to you. If you are not used to counting million, you would have you, how many of you have noticed it? The moment you started counting hundreds of thousands, it kept coming to you. It, it, be, it, so, it suddenly became a simple something. The moment you started handling millions, it suddenly, be, it suddenly became a simple something. You are looking at me like, uh, I don't know if I'm speaking to the right people. Who are the right persons I need to talk to? Who are the right person I need to talk to? Because some people, eh, the way they look, they, they won't draw my faith, come down. And I can never come down to that their level. Who are the right people I'm talking to? I, I, yeah, talking to people who are inspiring me, not some people who are looking lost. Like, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. They are looking like, how did I get here? They are talking about me. They are, don't stay where they talk about me also. That's the way the world works. That is the way it functions. I told you. Before I got married, I was worried. I didn't want to buy Pampas. Listen, I've bought that Pampas for 12 years. Abby, 12 years now. There was no community meeting. There was no community meeting to buy the Pampas. You just got into it. And the grace is made available. Before I bought my first car, I was wondering, how do you fuel a car? That time, they're not even selling. <laughs> that time, they sell fuel 65 naira. I mean, how much? And how do you buy, how do you buy fuel inside a car? Then how do you change a car tire? These were just consigned for me. How do you pay for three bedroom flat? Tell your neighbor, get in there first. <laughs> yeah, see, see. Ah, me say this so it is so fuelo. Ah, me say this so it is so fuelo. When the brother Range Rover, the first in the face of him, ah, this is the shop fellow. I look at so it's time make a return the motor. <laughs> Call it a shop fuel. It's not like that. Your other motor is on a shop fuel. So people not, not people they not people they, they drive tundra. <laughs> that thing is fuel. <laughs> Homer two, Homer three. People they drive, oh, 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 oh. and and uh, and they know they day inside. They stop. They wind down quickly. No, they park. They go to steam. 
So, that day we went for uh, uh, this guy, traditional marriage. UK. You know, that's the first time I was taking that. So, they say, today I go know how much food it is in the shop. Whether we go leave the motor for there, take transport, come back. We drove it, got there, went to where we, we are going, came back. There are still fuel inside the car. Don't let poor people condition your mind to poorness. I read one book, he said, said, why many are still poor is because your teachers in school are poor people. You can't give what you don't have. A poor professor is teaching you, what will he teach you? Is how to be poor. That's what he will teach you. That's why when you come out from school, they will need to re-educate you on how to make money. We went. We came back. We did not die. The first thing I told my wife, I said, ah. I said no, this is not even be like the way they talk about them because <laughs> they won't put at least here, at least here, I go need 50,000 to go there. And I, I was thinking, you know, when I got my first car, they told me, say, listen, oh God, when you are traveling, you wind down. Don't, you don't, they don't use AC on highway. They don't use AC on highway. So you wind down. I did like that for many years. Old. Many years. I remember when I was coming to marry my wife, once I leave a Nuku, boom, enter the express. I off the AC, wind down. <laughs> noise till I get to DC right now, but I will come the, the journey I'm very stressed one day I came the sun was dead the sun was dead I told myself I said ah I know when you're inside a car that has a leather seat the heat different though I say today I go drive this motor with AC. If you won't die, make it, make it quench. Brothers and sisters, I drove from here to Enugu. My fuel was still half tank. Half tank with AC. The compressor no blow. The motor no catch fire. Fuel no finish. I'm still arguing. You are? With what? I'm not seeing it. Huh? Oh, awesome. 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 That's good. That's good. One of my prayers for you this year. All the cobwebs in your brain. <laughs> all these cobwebs. The Lord will wipe them away in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the cobwebs? They are the things that have limited you. So every time we have a challenge, it's an opportunity, it's a mindset. It's either you see that it's coming to destroy you, or you see it as a mindset, as an opportunity to get blessed. The Bible says, count it all joy. Be excited. See it as an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, has, what is he trying to tell you? That, see, your faith is developed by how? By test. For instance, you can read like me and my guys. We can, we have gone to register for exercise. We can buy books on exercise. We can buy different kind of sneakers and gears for exercise. One day time for hand, one day time for head. We can even get to the exercise environment and buy those proteins and protein shake for exercise. We can even move around inside that place and check out all the fine things they put there and take a selfie inside the exercise hall. <laughs> but until you do the exercise, the muscles will never shape. That's the same thing with your faith. When you hear a great faith, that's a faith that has been tested greatly. I don't know if you're getting it now. 
Father, give me a great step. You're saying, Father, give me because your faith can only grow, can only develop by the pressure that is applied on it. Just like your muscles. Now you're getting it now. Why Onyedepo can take delivery of some miracle is because that man have encountered things that have put the faith. You are given the same measure of faith, but your faith can produce at its level because your faith has not encountered the kind of things his faith has encountered. A mountain moving faith has encountered a mountain daunting challenge. You can't tell Pastor Lord what it takes to handle the brains. You can't tell him. You can't tell. Him. You, you may think you understand. You don't understand because you have never been there. You can read it. Some men that come from the deliverance program that hear me on radio, when they come and they see me, they are kind of disappointed <laughs> because like I look, I look, I look. I sounded bigger. One man could not help it. He asked me, how you didn't know all these things? You are thinking that they will come there, you see one palais. <laughs> and they're surprised they will come me. One woman come me, look, as I they talk to her, I know she's checking me out because she, she came, she, she, you know, she's from choosing charismatics. And here am I talking to her, I'm wearing my jean. I was wearing my jeans, sitting there. Uh, I don't know when I raised my leg. One of the jeans. <laughs> the jeans. The tear for water. The woman, they look, they look me. They look me. Look me. I quickly bring down my leg. <laughs> Deliver me with jeans. <laughs> One man couldn't take it. Ah, Christabel, where are you? She has disappeared. Oh, we are, when we are at Kenwood, they used to call me Timbaland Pastor. <laughs> but the manager of King will say, you know, they, you know, they wear this. No. It is not in the size, it is in the amount of things that this small body has been able to encounter, deal with, and come out of. That's what keeps the faith where it is. It's not in the height. Are you getting what I'm saying? And you get it's not in the height, it's not in the size, it's not even in the physical age, it's based on what the faith has encountered. Your faith grows by the amount. Listen, you see, you have done a duplex plus some two flats. Okay, you can take that project anytime without blinking once. But when you took it for the first time, you knew that you you did you you knew you were about to carry something. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. You knew you were about to carry something. Any of us that have not built here, you don't know what's up. Forget it. You think you know, you don't know. The other day, you were telling me all the experience you had building this one with workmen, all their tifri, all their corny, you already know. It, it, you're trying to do another one, it will never happen because you are aware. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's how your faith develops when you engage challenges. So you must make up your mind that this is that I hear. You're going, to, you're going to get the glory for God out of it. You're going to believe God so much that after this, see, it's easier for you to believe God for higher things when you have believed him for smaller things. For instance, you can't have a challenge believing God for an, an SUV anymore because you've, you've done that. You've done that. You can see, believe, you, you've, you've seen it work. I know there's a time you were thinking, when will your money complete? Oh, yes. When will your money complete to buy? And now you already got it. So you're not thinking, when will your money? The issue is now is what other next one am I going to buy? You set your mind on it and you know the same way the money came for this. this are, are you getting what I'm saying? That's how your faith grows. We believed him for Kenwood. From Kenwood, we believed him from there. You remember when I told you, I said, we saw one place. I said, I'm saying at 240. And we are praying for 240. 
We can never pray for 240 in this ministry. We cannot. We cannot. It can never be. We are praying for 240. You get what I'm saying? Then we got there. Remember, when we got after a couple of days, we are believing God for an office. You say, I should ask how much? And I asked for that small. They say, it's 120. And we began to, no, we can't, we can't, we, we can't pray for a 120. <laughs> you see, now, we were praying for 240. From 240, how many offices do we have here? How many do we have? There are no special prayers who come and pray, say, Lord, this year we are praying. No, we don't do that anymore. We, we don't do that anymore. I, I don't even get what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you don't do that anymore. You don't do that anymore. We are, we are thinking about the next projects. We are thinking about the next big things to do. We are thinking about a screen right here. That's what we are thinking about. We are not thinking about... You remember we want to buy this television. It was a prayer point. <laughs> so to buy this it was a prayer point. I went to that place they are selling and I was pricing it. No. We, nah, no. Not, not again. I remember when we got that first, that first AC we inherited from my mother-in-law. We, were, we brought it. We kept it for a while. Believing God for the money to fix it. To fix it. To put gas inside. When we came here, we didn't have generator. <laughs> when we got here. Because in Kenwood, we are using free light. We didn't have cheer. No one cheer on our name. So it's not just to get the place. What do you put inside? Our first rug was a fairly used red rug. We we'll beat doors, beat doors, beat doors, beat doors, beat <laughs> We we'll beat doors, eh? We we'll put the, the we we'll put the rug, but you are seeing that this rug is not a today rug. And listen, we believed God for it. We we'll pray for it, oh! We we'll pray for that red rug. Where is it, sir? I don't know where it is. We we'll pray for it. We we'll believe God. Pray. Fasted even. <laughs> this road here. Who remember how much this road is? This way. Huh? Huh? Almost 400 and something K. Where is it? Where did they dance on top without respect? We are marching on 400. Ah, bada, bada. Just give God, just give God praise. Just give her praise. I say, that red drug was like it was 14,000. I will buy. <laughs> and uh, now, Tori, which one be Tori now? Among the twins, who will be Tori? Ebube. Hey, Ebube. Hey, give us money for that rug. Even as they carry us, they go. I no still believe and they pray. Father, may he not change his mind. <laughs> because Baba V just change his mind. Because now Maro, Maro be one first by that rock. Maro really change his mind. Pray and fasting. I prophesy over you. This year, it go do you like theme what God is about to do. Your, yours is to just believe him. Stay in faith. Every opportunity of challenge that comes around you, see it as an opportunity for promotion. That's how your faith develops. That's how your Let me tell you. If I tell you my faith is not being shaked, if it's not being steered up for the amount I say I'm believing, I'm lying. It keeps me on my knees, praying, calling it, Speaking over you. Checking the time frame. That's how you grow. Once we are done with that, it will never be. Now, do you know how we came here? It's because we have been able to believe him for 10. He said, believe me for 10. I said it in church. Some people change church. But we were able to do it.
nine point something million. He said, believe him. That space of wine, I'm telling you, we exceeded that. I said, God will exceed everything you wrote here. Yeah. When we said, say, I saw the, we said, we saw the, 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 the POP, the sin, and all. we didn't have, it, it was nowhere. It was nowhere. It was nowhere. Did he exceed it or did he not exceed it? Believe me. Your problem is your thinking is your account. No, God said, believe me. You, you have to believe, if it's, it's, it's his account, it's his account. Are you not? Are you not seeing? It? You let these things inspire you. Um, when I say ten, we are thinking about many things, including we are thinking about many things. All these things, let us see. All these things came. God exceeded it, and we are not indebted anywhere. I understand what what indebted means by we are not. We are not indebted anywhere. Not indebted. Not owing one person. You think I can't believe that that is possible? Once I'm done this 30 now, or more, and the hundreds. <laughs> because, see, that's how you build it. Ask, ask Ovo. The first time you went there, it was 5 kg. Then before you know, you start doing 10 this side, 10 this side. That's the way they do like this. Ovo will be telling me to come and just say, my friend. I know souls are perishing. That's where I'm called. I need to look for souls. Before you know, they will add 20. He was doing 20. He will do us one. He will do like this. He will do like this. Say, Pastor, come on, come on, come on. There's one thing that they used to draw like this. That thing gave me work. If I draw me, he will draw me. I draw me, draw me. Of will just go there with him. Me, I will come. <laughs> he, will help me. he will help me and bring it to the front. The two will do. <laughs> he didn't come there that way. 5 kg, 10 kg, 20 kg. You get to a point, if you do 5 kg, it will look as if it's nothing. That's how your faith grows. 5 kg challenge, you dust it. You bring 10 kg, you trust it. You bring 20 kg, you dust it. You bring 50 kg, hallelujah. So that's how you're rising. You're rising. You're building up. You're believing God for great things. Believing God for great things. To develop a mountain moving faith, you must have the right mindset. I already talked about it. Every challenge in our lives is an opportunity to develop our faith. See it that way. Instead of seeing it as something that's there to destroy you, You can never be afraid of planning wedding. Never. You have done the wedding. You can never be afraid. But who never do? Now, wahala. When you think, ah, hall, 500,000 to me. <laughs> so, Father, where we want to start? I'm rounding up. Mark 11, 22. So, Jesus said to them, you must believe in God. You must believe in God. You must believe in God. Jesus said to them, you must. He said, I tell you this. A person could say to this mountain, move and throw yourself into the sea. Then it will happen like he says. Jesus was telling them possibilities. A person could say that it will happen. You can say this year I will buy a land. It will happen. Say this year I'm changing my accommodation. It will happen. He said, but you must not let other ideas come into your mind. See, that's, that's where the problem is. You must not let other ideas come into your mind. You must really believe that those things will happen. If you do believe it, God will do those things for you. So I tell you this. When you pray, 
to ask God for anything, believe in him, believe that you have received that thing, then you will have whatsoever you have asked. Jesus giving us the formula. formula. Believe it. Don't let other ideas come in. Let there, don't let there be distraction. Believe it. And it will come to pass. Until your faith encounters opposition, it will not grow. Write it down. Until your faith encounters oppositions, it will not grow. Until your faith encounters opposition, it will not grow. Until your faith encounters opposition, it will not grow. And if it does not grow, it is limited to what it can move. You know, we started that matter from your house. That's gym something. We started your house. We are doing with easy. I mean, easy. We will try. We will try. We will try. Then we you remember. Then we will now move. We went to that place to do the thing. That's one. They say you put your leg. You push. Oh, that thing will go up. You release it. They will come. They will tell you you are not doing the right posture. You have to be at the right posture to do it. You will be pushing the thing. Developing the muscle. I saw some kind of training. Some kind of exercises. That all this Ronaldo they are doing. You know one time Ronaldo kicked the ball. And his ball broke the neck of a fan. Did you hear it? Ball. Ball. Kick ball. <laughs> the land for person here. The neck break. That's to tell you the, 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 the force behind that ball. And that force didn't just come. Someone has trained. Have you ever seen Ronaldo? When you see the way the, the body, I'm telling you, all parts of the muscles have been toned. I can't even do. They will need to massage the waist. There are some things I can't do because. The body is out of alignment. Your faith will grow this year. And it will produce fruit. Amen. Amen. Are you believing what I'm saying? Whatever, that's why whatever you wrote here must be something that will shake you. Hebrews 11.6 Hebrews 11.6 Mm. everybody really wants to go but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him let me read it for you in another translation so, because I was asking myself what does it mean to please the Lord for without faith it's impossible to please God so I, I tried to read it in the easy translation he said unless we trust God it is impossible for us to make him happy. Make him happy. Make him happy. So that word please, change it to make him happy. Anyone who comes to God must believe that God is there. They must also believe that God helps everyone who wants to know him. So I wrote, the Holy Ghost put me, I wrote it. How do we make God happy? Number one, when we function the way he intended for us to function, we'll make him happy. You get what I'm saying? When your business is doing what you expect, you'll be happy, isn't it? When we function the way he makes us, he intended for us to function, he's happy. How does he, how does he intend for us to function? Number one, he intend for us to be creators. He made us co-creators with him. God is excited when man creates. It doesn't matter if it's an unbeliever. Anywhere there is creation, God is excited. Because that shows the aspect of God. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. That was why when those men were creating the Tower of Babel, even though it was in rebellion to what God had said, the Bible said, and God said to the hosts of heaven, let's go and see. <laughs> God said, let's go and see. God was excited. God wanted to see God's always is excited when you're creating something. A new business, a new family, a new... Anytime you're creating anything that is working, God is excited. He's excited. Even you are excited. 
I don't know if you get what I'm saying. If you have built a house and you walked into that house and you're seeing it, you saw it from the foundation till now, everything is in place. You will be excited. Won't you be excited? So it's impossible to make God happy except by faith. Are you seeing it now? How do we make God happy when we engage our faith? Remember what, what I tell you. What does faith do? Faith creates. Are you, are you remembering what I'm saying now? So when we create, he's happy. When we dominate, he's happy. Write it. For without faith, it's impossible to make God happy. So it's, what it means is that without faith, you can't create. Without faith, you can't dominate. How else do we make him happy? When we multiply. Without faith, we can multiply. How else do we make him happy? When we have dominion. Without faith, you can have dominion. Mr. Fernandez believed that that chain was going to stop them bullets. He said, he just laughed in mockery. He said, so I guess, all these guns you put in, I guess this is the time at the point where I say I step down. Never. The woman said, oh, never. You are dying to this. Oh, yeah, try your best. They shoot me. He just went, ah, it is with me. It takes faith to walk in dominion. It takes faith to walk in dominion. And when you walk in dominion, that's part of God's plan for you. God is happy. How many of you have watched the Transformers? That movie. How many of you have watched that other movie where that boy is controlling, uh, what's his name? Controlling uh, an iron this thing that does boxing. You've watched it. You saw how happy that boy was when that thing just, you do, do you understand? When he moves this way, that thing moves. Oh, God is excited when he sees you as his creature, behaving the way he is, creating, multiplying, having dominion. And say, but this is not possible except through faith. Faith brings you at that level. And finally, God is happy when we subdue. Genesis 1, 26. You see all of that, that. You see all of that, that in that place. Have dominion. Multiply. Subdue. I was watching one movie on Z World one afternoon and I saw the guy said he, he took one guy and he, he climbed a, a very tall building. He said, listen, one day a 19 year old came here and sold all this land you see here four times their worth. And now he owns everything. Ask what you want. I'll do it for you. This year, they will see your impact. Amen. Yeah. Let your amen be great. You'll see your impact. Yeah. Jesus said to him who overcome. I will permit to drink from the river of life. What does that tell you? When we walk in total victory over every attack of the enemy, God is glorified and we are rewarded. Our victory confirms his workmanship. Our victory confirms his workmanship in your life. Our victory confirms his investment in your life. Our victory confirms it. There's a joy I feel. When I look at my children and I see there's some level of resemblance for me. I don't shout it, but I'm excited. Just imagine that this might begin look like a Ote dollar. Come on. That will be, will be a challenge. I like it. When I look at my children, they look, I see my resemblance. I see my blackness. I see my I see my nose. I see my head. Makes me more happy to fire them with food. <laughs> God get excited when he sees in attributes in you. See, students, you can't fail. You can't have F9. Because you have God. My last sentence as I close. Job was blessed. You know why? 
Because he came out on top. God bragged with Job. May God brag with you this year. Amen. Your amen needs help. Amen. I say, may God brag with you. Amen. That God will look the devil in the face and say, see, this poverty matter where they breathe. This my son can't succumb. He will. Uh, you know, we walk. God bragged. And then everything turned out the way God bragged. All of this here. Every night I pray, I say, Lord, I command testimonies. I command answers. We will share them one after the other. I believe it. Problem is, do you believe it like I believe it? Stand on your feet and let God know. So if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, that shall be saved. Lift up your voice and say, God, I believe those things I wrote there. I am not wondering if they will come to pass. I'm just waiting for when it will come to pass. I give it.